Ja'far ibn Kawlawayh. In his text narrates this ziyarah. Where Imam al-Sadiq says that when you get to the haram, when you stand in front of the dari of Imam al hussein when you read into the text, it says, وَكِفْ عَلَى السَّقِيفَ or كِفْ عَلَى الباب. Stand at the shed or stand at the door of the haram of Abu al-Fadil. From here we understand a number of things. Number one, that there was already a structure in the form of a haram that was constructed around the grave of Abu al-Fadil even during the time of Imam al-Sadiq. Otherwise, there would not be any meaning to say kif ala al-bab or kif ala al-sakifa, sakifa being shed. In any case, Imam al-Sadiq tells us stand at the door to the grave of Abu al-Fadil. Ya'ni even before you enter into the haram of Abu al-Fadil, even before you stand close to the grave of Abu al-Fadil while you are at the door, there are certain attestations that you need to make in regards to the adama of Abu al-Fadil. This is even before you have entered into the haram al-Sharif. From one of these lines that you read in this ziyara, when we perform the ziyara of Abu al-Fadil, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us opportunities and lots of opportunities till the end of our life to perform the ziyara of Imam al Hussein and Abu al-Fadil. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Again, ya ikhwani, apologies for the zahma. I know it is crowded. If you're able to come just a little bit more forward and make space for your brothers who are coming in at the back. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Fakalamuna, our kalam in regards to the ma'rifa of Abu al-Fadil and this ma'rifa, this Adim Daraja is understood from the words of a ziyara that are uttered by a ma'asum imam, the hujjah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one. Number two, what are you saying? Where are you saying? Even before you enter into the haram, when you're standing at the door, what is understood is that this is the maqam of idnid duhul, permission to enter in to this mashhad al-mu'addam. Over here, Imam al-Sadiq tells us, Kalam is over ma'rifah. Part of the words of the ziyarah. What does Imam al-Sadiq say? While addressing Abu al-Fadil. وَلَعَنَ اللَّهُ مَنْ قَتَلَكَ وَلَعَنَ اللَّهُ مَنْ جَهِدَ حَكَّكَ وَاسْتَخَفَّ بِحُرْمَتِكَ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ وَلِلَّهِ الْحَمْدِ Imam al-Sadiq stands at the door of the haram of Abu al-Fadil, teaching us by stating that, Ya Abu al-Fadil, la'na of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon those who killed you. This we understand. La'na in terms of disassociation, those people who waged war against you and who killed you in the most brutal of manners, and stopped you and prevented you from bringing water back to those innocent, thirsty children. We are away and disassociate from them and from their actions until the day of judgment. These are people who fell even below the lowest level of humanity. And a condemnation is appropriate if not necessary. For we disassociate ourselves. Ya Abu al-Fadl, we have nothing to do with them as individuals. And hi, ishara, ishara, huh? Even in your lives, even in mine, in your lives, we need to ensure that the sifat of Umar ibn Sa'ad and the sifat of Shimar and Yazid and ibn Ziyad is not in our characters. Tasfiya, tasfiya. I have to clean ourselves from their personalities, from their characters. For we understand, this we can understand. man katalak. But Imam al-Sadiq doesn't stop at this. 
If you refer back to the verses of the Quran that speak about la'na, right after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that after these people deserve la'na upon them is adabun alima and adabun muhima. Upon them is severe punishment of Allah. La'na is not a small thing, huh? But Imam Sadiq says, in regards to you, Ya Abal Fadl, it is not only those people who killed you who deserve la'na. That we can digest. But Imam Sadiq goes on to say, وَلَعَنَ اللَّهُ مَنْ كَتَلَكَ وَلَعَنَ اللَّهُ مَنْ جَهِدَ حَقَّكَ La'na of Allah upon the one who is ignorant of your right. Jahila, the one who is jahil, hakkak in regards to your hak. What is this right that Abu Fadil has upon the entire ummah? That if you are ignorant upon it, as per the kalams of Sadiq Ahlul Bayt, the la'na of Allah, I am deserving of it. I won. Wastakhaffa bi hurmatik. La'na of Allah on the one who tries to diminish your divinity. Istakhaffa, yani takhfif, the one who downplays the importance and the downplays the status, hurma, divinity, sanctity, which is associated to you. Kalam murhib. If a person reads this with true ma'rifa, it instills within him fear and caution when you enter into the haram of Abu Fadil, when you speak about Abu Fadil, Ya Akhi, remember these lines of Imam as Sadiq of the Ziyara and be careful to downplay the importance of Abu Fadl al Abbas. Be careful when you speak about the Adama of Abu Fadl al Abbas. Be careful how you go to his haram. Be careful how you act in his haram. Ya Akhi, be very careful when you start negating the extent of the musiba and the extent of the tragedies on Abu Fadl. Be careful when you say this is fabricated, that was fabricated. This is Sahih and this is not Sahih. You are standing in front of a passion. If you die, Downplayed the tragedy that he underwent. Sadiq Ahlul Bayt is saying la'na of Allah on this person. Akhi, be very careful. This is Abu Fadil. Rightly, we need to fear. What is this right? Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. What is this right of Abu Fadil and what is this divine sanctity which is associated with Abu Fadil? The first step we said, Ma'rif of Abu Fadil. Everything within the Qawn and the Deen revolves around the Ma'rif. Ma'rif of Abu Fadil first, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his salams on Abu Fadil. Imam al Sadiq tells us this is one. Number two. When you read the ziyarah of Abu Fadl al Abbas, you will find that the manner in which you refer to him is extremely special. And there are darajats. You find that when you refer to Abu Fadl al Abbas, many times you will not say to him, Assalamu alaikum ya Abu Fadl al Abbas, or Assalamu alaikum ya Abbas ibn Ali. You find that when you refer to him, you refer to him through a title. So you will say to him, Assalamu alaika, Yabna Amir al Mu'mineen. Peace be upon you, the son of Amir al Mu'mineen. In another part, and you see the ziyarah of Abu Fadl, it's not any normal ziyarah that you just enter in and go out and, no, 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 ya akhi, ithn al dukul, you stand at the door, you recite a certain attestation which has a certain level of ma'rifah. Then you enter into the haram, you stand in a way that the qibla is behind you, certain recitation. Then you stand at the maqam of the blessed head of Abu al-Fadil and you recite a certain part of the ziyarah. Then you recite a turaqa salah and then you stand at the feet of Abu al-Fadil. And each position of the haram and each step of the ziyarah, there is something that you are reciting in regards to the ma'rifah of Abu al-Fadil. 
when you stand at the feet of Abu al-Fadil at one point, you say to him, Assalamu alayka, yabna awwal al islama, wa akdamihim imana, wa ahwatihim bideen Allah. In the first part of the ziyara, Ibn al-Dukul, you say to him, what is, can be considered Ibn al-Dukul is, you say to him, Assalamu alayka, yabna amir al-mu'mineen. Yani throughout the ziyara of Abu al-Fadil, when you are referring to Abu al-Fadil, when you are sending salams on Abu al-Fadil, you are referring to him as being the son of who? Of amir al-mu'mineen. And in other parts of the ziyara, when you refer to Abu al-Fadil, you refer to him as being the son of the one who has fada'il. Who awwali him. Assalamu alaikum ya ibn awwal al islama. The first one who embraced Islam. The one who was more staunch in his iman. The one who has embraced the deen in his entirety. You are referring to the titles of Abu al-Fadil by calling him the son of Amir al-Mu'mineen. Ya'ani when you address Abu al-Fadil within the ziyara, Imam al-Sadiq has attached Abu al-Fadil's dhikr to the dhikr of Amir al-Mu'mineen. Why? There is a hikmah behind this. Ya Ikhwani, there was some few years back, we had an entire majlis on this. And the theme of this majlis, in quick passing, so we can get to this point, the theme of this majlis was what? Abbas was to Hussein what Ali was to Rasulullah. Abbas was to Hussein what Ali was to Rasulullah. Ali Amir al-Mu'mineen was the defender of Rasulullah in every battle, Badr, Ahad, Khandaq, Khaybar, Hunayn. Ali was the defender of Rasulullah. Similarly, Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas on the day of Karbala, on the day of Ashura, was the defender of Imam al hussein During the night of Hijrah, when Rasulullah left from Mecca to go towards Medina, he left. He made Amir al Mu'mineen in charge of the safety and the security of the women, the Fatimiyat, such that it was his job to ensure that they left Makkah and came to Medina safely. Similarly, when Imam al Hussein was performing the Hijrah from Medina to Makkah and Makkah towards Karbala, in charge of the safety and the security of the women was Abu al Fadl al Abbas. You find that like the way Rasulullah entrusted Amir al-Mu'mineen with every affair in regards to the deen, Imam al-Hussein entrusted Abu al-Fadil to the affairs of the deen. Just like the way Amir al-Mu'mineen was the standard bearer of the army of Rasulullah, Abu al-Fadil was the standard bearer of Imam al-Hussein. In summary, when Imam al-Sadiq connects the name of Abu al-Fadil to the name of Amir al-Mu'mineen, meaning what? That Abu al-Fadil was the representative of Amir al-Mu'mineen in Karbala. Amir Abu al-Fadil was a representation of the courage of Amir al-Mu'mineen in Karbala.